All right guys, what is up? It's Mark Munches. Today we have some creamy cauliflower mac and cheese. I didn't use macaroni, I used rigatoni, I believe it was, or something like that. I don't know what this pasta is, but I used a different pasta. I didn't have any macaroni. Uh, it's pretty much just mac and cheese mixed with a creamy cauliflower soup. You can use any kind of soup that you have if you wanna use uh, cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. It's pretty much supposed to add another level of flavor to mac and cheese which I thought was interesting, so I decided to try it. Uh, let me know down below if you guys decided to try it. I'm gonna give half of this to my wife, get this on a plate, and then I'll be right back. All right guys, we're back. Uh, I wanted to talk about today uh, the real reason why I started my YouTube channel. I, I have spoken about it a little bit, but not really in depth. And I wanted this video to encourage any of you guys who have dreams to pursue it in any way. But uh, first we're gonna pray. Lord, thank you for today. We're thankful for everything you're doing in our lives. I pray you continue to watch over me, my viewers, my family. Continue to just bless us, guide us, and always be there for us, Lord. Amen. How's your guys' day today? I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, let's just get a bite of this right away. Uh, I pretty much, uh, I, I cooked it through and then um, I left it not fully cooked because uh, it was going to go baking and I don't want it to get overdone and super soft. But uh, then you put it together and uh, put some extra cheese on the top and then bake it. Oh yeah, that is really good. It's so creamy too, like a lot more creamier than like normal mac and cheese. Wow. Like maybe if you added some kind of like heavy cream or something to like mac and cheese and made like a really creamy sauce. There's a little bit of cheese pulls, not like huge ones, so you guys probably can't see it. I really like this. Really simple to make too. Those are my favorite recipes because I'm not much of a cook. You guys think I'd be chefing, but I don't be chefing. Like a little bit of cheese pull there. So this story, it'll probably start back a few years. As you guys maybe have heard before, me and my wife, we used to watch a lot of vlogs and stuff. We thought of doing vlogs, but we honestly just never got into it. And then we started watching mukbang channels and we were like, wow, this is like really, like we really enjoyed this. Like we watched so much mukbang probably back in like 2016. And we'd always say we should start a mukbang channel. But then that never happened either. And every single like, more than once a year we would just like always go say you know we should really start that channel because we'd still watch videos and just never get into it well fast forward look at that Ooh. we were um we we're living uh somewhere else than we live now and uh I had a job and the job was like hard, like so hard, like very labor intensive. The hours were ridiculous, like they even had mandatory overtime twice, um, twice a week. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I wasn't getting home till maybe, uh, maybe like th two o'clock in the morning. That's like when I get home. And then you sleep, right? You wake up, you're waking up late because you went to sleep late. You barely have time at home, then you're back at work. And it was just like, it was getting too much for me. I didn't have my daughter at the time, just my son, but he was really young. And it was just, it was a lot to bear with. Then I would pray and pray and just be like, like, Lord, please just put me somewhere else. I really don't want to do this. It was a place that I worked before, like in the past, but I never worked in the position that they put me in. And the position that I used to do, I wasn't available anymore. Look at that cheese. So I was pretty much doing something that I wasn't used to. I didn't like it too much. It was in a factory also. This is so good, guys. 
The cheese crust on top is the best part, honestly. But uh, eventually, luckily, there was a, a full shutdown for a week uh, because they twice a twice a year. Uh, I don't know if they do this at every factory, but our factory twice a year they shut it down so that they can just do a quick maintenance over every single thing, like to make sure everything's in like running condition. Instead of just doing like shut down this area for a little bit, shut down this area for a little bit, they just decided just twice a year, middle of the year and end of the year, they shut it down fully and just do a full like sweep over every single machine there. So when the shutdown happened, I was like, I am not going back. I had like maybe, it didn't even take like the full shutdown because I would work Monday through Saturday and I even stopped going Saturdays. And it was so bad, like, that place that, like, people would quit so much that they didn't even care that I wasn't coming Saturday and they still, like, wouldn't fire me or anything. They just wanted anyone who would work. And I still need my job. I didn't need the extra overtime. That was the funniest part. But it was mandatory and you get in trouble if you don't do it. But I just, I, eventually, I just didn't even care anymore. I'm like, I'm not coming Saturdays. But I, as soon as I even had, like, a three-day weekend, maybe, like, Tuesday came around, and I'm like... I'm definitely not going back to this place. I went to like um, a bunch of agencies and started asking around like you guys have anything like literally anything and I'll take it. And then they were like, uh, like show us your qualifications and stuff. And I showed them and I went to college for uh, electrical. So that was on there. And you're like, why you have this and you're working at this place? Like we could get you something way better. And they found me somewhere and it did pay better. And I was happy there for a decent amount of time. Sorry if you guys are crying in the back. My daughter's a bit fussy today. But then I realized like just because I was my job was easier and I was making better money it didn't make me feel any better right like I still wasn't really happy I was happy at home when I'm at home so happy like I come home I see my family I relax I we go we do things and all sorts of stuff but just my job like I just felt like it was a very mindless job like where you don't think at all and my tasks are very straightforward um and i just felt very underappreciated there especially there was so many things that they expected me to do that nobody else had to do and i didn't get paid any more for it they would always like um if you guys don't know my wife has a lot of um, medical issues so every now and then we're just always in the doctors checking off on her make sure everything's okay and they were just not understanding of any of that which i get right a lot of jobs they'll give you your your 10 call-ins for the year and then that's it this job like you call in it counts for your call in and then you have to make up every hour that you missed and it's still you still get in trouble that you you didn't come even though you've made up all your time so it wasn't even like i called in and i got a day off i called in and i'm still going back to work and then it starts subtracting from my weekends and I had if you, I don't know if my wife said a few videos go by I had no vacation time like every all the time just using my vacation hours just to try to get my wife if my son gets sick do that and I was just like really getting tired of it like there's a point where you have to look at yourself and say like are you happy with your situation and I wasn't I didn't like that there was no one understanding if if my family was sick or anything or if my wife needed to um, be treated or take care of or anything like that like nobody cared right they just they just want you to come in hit your numbers get out and that's it and if you don't come then we'll replace you right and I'm not I'm not mocking anyone who has to deal with that that is the majority of places are going to treat you that way but i was as i was saying i was also just super underappreciated there um like they they had me working on a robot and nobody else in the whole place could run the robot and i was the only one who could do it and i never got a raise for it um i they even had me um there was like people who came in after me and they were getting um like treated not even treated better but they were pretty much um like even i had to go get a forklift license and they were like speeding around the bush so much like to, to let me get it and as soon as like these new guys come they're like 
oh, why don't all of you, like, they're like, oh, you guys go get your foreign license. And they just, like, give them it right away, right? And they made me wait, like, almost six months or something to get mine. And there are people that are coming in and getting theirs in, like, two weeks. So it was just a lot of things where I just felt I was being mistreated and I didn't like that. So, around the same time, of course, YouTube and stuff, they, they listen to every single word you say. So, they probably heard me saying things. I started just getting suggested a lot of, like, motivational videos of, like, like take control of your life. Do this and that. Sometimes you have to bet on yourself and make the sacrifice and blah, blah, blah. So, I would watch a lot of those. Like... There's a time where I was commuting to work for like about half an hour. And I would download podcasts and videos and all sorts of things just that were just always. And every now and then that would just come up as a topic all the time. Like there'd be some rich person on there and they'd say, you know, I was suffering so much doing jobs I didn't like. And one day I just said, you know what, I quit my job. And I'm like, I'm going to take what's left in my bank account and I'm going to invest on my, in myself. And I would always hear that. I'm like, that's like super crazy, number one. Um, I, I don't think, um, like most people live paycheck to paycheck. So it, it just seemed like unrealistic to me that anyone, like most people could even make that sacrifice. Especially me, like I, I was a sole provider for my family and everyone's there. And I'm like, I, I can never do anything like that where I'm just like, I'm going to quit my job and go out and try to be something different with no like backing of any even idea of which direction I would go in. Now my situation personally, I would say I was very lucky. COVID happened and um, I was out of work because um, uh, I took parental leave. Uh, my daughter was just born and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna start my channel. Um, my wife, she was encouraging me to do it. I think it even came off as a joke. Like I was like, yeah, you know, I'll start it. But um, I, I was, I don't even think I was serious about it. And I uploaded, and as you guys know or don't know, it fully tanked. Nobody cared to watch. And I was super discouraged. And I said to myself, I'm like, I knew it. Like I knew it was crazy to go out and think that I could bet on myself and try to do something else uh, as you guys know these videos they're not free they do take money um, I am always trying new things for you guys uh, I, I think there's maybe only like once or twice ever on my channel that I've had something more than once that like repeated eating something and I was like it's gonna cost me money to do this channel. I'm gonna have to always be buying things outside of the norm that I usually get. I knew like I'd have to be giving some kind of, like I'm gonna have to dip into my income in some way to make this channel work. And me and my wife, we sat down and we recorded, I wanna say three to four videos. First video, I just fully deleted it. <laughs> I think I saved the picture in the thumbnail just so that I personally know that this was the first video, but you guys don't know what that video is because it doesn't exist. Uh, we didn't even know what the setup would be like uh, for me to record so I think I recorded but the food wasn't like super visible or anything like that so um, we we're just like you know what let's just delete this video and not use it the next video I think that one I uploaded and when I uploaded it um, it was like as I was saying it just tanked but the video it just didn't do good at all it had zero views for over 24 hours and I was literally like to my wife, I'm like, man, I just feel so bad. Like we spent this money to do like these four videos or so. And like nobody cares to watch it, right? It's, it's just there and sitting there, nobody cares about it. Nobody's gonna click on it. I was just heartbroken over it, honestly. And my wife was just like, you know what? Just upload the rest of these videos and we'll see how they go. And then, um, and then you decide, right? If you're gonna keep going or not. And I decided, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to give this another shot and I'm not going to go at it um, halfway. I'm going to go fully in with it and I upload another video. I did so much, like not a normal amount, like so much research, searching, looking up things. Um, how do I do tags? How do I do 
uh, description and all sorts of stuff. I didn't even have a good description back then. Like now I know you're supposed to use detailed descriptions and stuff. I didn't know any of that. I think it was like maybe like 10 sentences or something. I think I edited it so you guys can't even see it if you look back. But I was doing so much research. And then after doing that, I was looking at so many things like how to get views on a small channel, how to do this. And I was just looking and looking and looking like obsessively searching for hours looking at these things and fast forward uh after a month on youtube i was able to get um, a thousand subscribers which is very good in my opinion uh a lot of people they uh they struggle to hit that first thousand and i luckily did it uh, i'm past my second month now this has hit me going into my third month and i actually gained 1400 i would say this month so more than what i gained last month which is beautiful and i so thankful to all you guys who ever watch me and uh care about my videos and subscribe to me and especially even you guys that are daily watchers that watch every single thing i know that's difficult even me as a person uh it's very hard to uh watch people's videos every single day i do my best but uh it's it's difficult especially when you have kids and stuff or you have your everyday life you can't always I uh, invest that much into your favorite YouTubers and uh, I'm thankful to anyone who does take that extra step and goes and does all that but um, I am thankful that I did start this channel I do feel like having this channel has encouraged me a lot like it, it's uh, raised my self-esteem I'll say a lot um, even though I didn't know like I didn't know I I, I had like uh, you know self-esteem issues when it came to that like even how like I uploaded I was so discouraged so fast from just 24 hours no one watching my video and uh, it, it, it does it feels it feels good when people are, are watching it it means a lot even sometimes when I upload a video it doesn't do too well I'm not too down about it because I know uh, you guys are always supporting me and to the few people who do watch that video I'm still so thankful I never forget how it, it feels to be like this to be new in it and, and to be doing so well and it means so much to me and uh, for anyone who has any dreams, I would say do your best to pursue it. You don't, I would say personally, don't drop every single thing you have to do it. Um, I definitely would never do that. I don't think, um, I think you have to be like a bold risk taker to do that. Because uh, there is a huge risk to just drop everything going on in your life and try to make something work out. I don't know, there are people who just aren't happy where they are in life. And I was one of those people and um, it, it had nothing to do with my home life or anything. Um, it, I would say it slightly had to do with my work life, but it, it just in general, I just felt like like I needed to do more and, and be more. And hopefully, by the end of this year, I'm monetized, and um, maybe even halfway into the next year, I I probably never have to work again. Hopefully, that I'm able to just do these videos with you guys and make a living off of it. And that's that's the dream, and I hope that I can make it actually happen. And for all you guys who have any dreams of anything, be a police officer, firefighter, whatever it is, don't be afraid to, to, I know someone who right now is literally doing a full career change. Uh, they were in, they were in like a website design and stuff like that. And they just didn't like it. They said, you know what, I'm, I'm going back to school and people, they, they do these things and it works. and. You can't be afraid. I think that's the biggest uh, thing about this video that I want to get to you guys. You can't be afraid to make a decision that will better your life. Because if you are sitting where you are right now and you're thinking to yourself, in 10 years, do I still want to be here? No. Then you have to make a change to do something because it's, it's not going to happen on its own. And I think that's where I was. I was thinking on it. And there are so many people at my job where they're like, oh, this guy has been here 50 years. Let's buy him a cake or something right and I'm like I don't want to celebrate with just like a cake my boss bought me like for being somewhere that I didn't want to be for 15 years that like I don't know to me that's just not that's not for me if you guys uh, have to do that or you guys don't mind there's a lot of people who don't mind a lot of people will work at one place for 20 years and they like it it's easy for them they do it they go eight hours gone and they love that life I I just don't think that that's for me um, especially not labor when my parental leave is up i am definitely heading somewhere where i'm not doing any sort of labor job definitely not hitting a factory up i i just can't deal with those kind of jobs anymore uh, i'm getting older 
maybe a young 18 year old when I was doing that, it wasn't that bad, but honestly, it's just not for me. I've been rambling. All right, guys, my son is here. He's saying, daddy, wrap it up. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget the notification bell to become part of Munch Gang. Check out the merch if you guys haven't already. Link is in the description. Uh, like comes, probably already said that. <laughs> We're all different, but we all love good food. Check out this recipe if you guys get the chance to. It was really good. I'm just super full. It was a lot. Uh, but that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.